Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is One of One, but you can call me Seven. And today, I'm very excited because we have our, if it'll focus, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Grand Creators Booster Pack Box. I'm gonna be pulling, how many cards? Seven cards per pack, 24 packs per box, that's a lot of cards. We recently just pulled on Battle of Chaos for Vince, and now we're gonna be pulling for the Grand Creators for me, because I run an Exosisters deck on Master Duel, and I think that Exosisters are really cool, and thus, I was like, alright, let's get a physical deck, because Yu-Gi-Oh cards are way more fun, or fi rather, physical Yu-Gi-Oh cards are way more fun than I thought they would be. Normally, Vince would be here for something like this, but I couldn't wait very much longer, and so I was like, well, I'm just gonna pull them, because I can't wait anymore, sorry! So, in this fun little box, we're going to be looking for a couple of cards, None of them are worth as near nearly as much as any of the most expensive cards in uh, Vince's booster box. But I am going to be looking for, and I'm going to read it off here, Exosister Mikhailis, who is a very important part of the Exosister deck. We're looking for a Collector's Rare, valued at $32.45. And we're also looking for Right of Aramisir, uh, which is also a Collector's Rare, at $36.07. I don't know what so, like what archetypes some of these are from because Vince is the one who's got the Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge, but I'll still be doing my best to figure out what's going on with the cards that I pull. Otherwise, I'm also just going to be looking for Exosister Pax, which is a spell card that allows me to search, and uh, Exosister Sophia, because there's no Martha in these packs. Uh, Martha and also Exosisters Magnifica um, were support cards that came later, and I think we mentioned that at the end of the last video. But um, I... I'm hoping to be able to at least get some of the, I mean, Stella, Irene, um, Cas Patel, all of those like really important parts of the deck, and I'm hoping maybe I can get some cool stuff. Maybe not a collector's rare, but something shiny, because who doesn't like shiny cards? So anyway, let's get started. Alright, so first up, we have Go Go Goki Pull. I have no Ooh, Exo Sister Carpe Divum. This is a very important card. At least I think it is. I actually don't know what the meta is in, in, in uh, dueling in person. Um, but Exo Sister Carpe Divum is a really good spell card in Master Duel. Uh, at least the way that I run it, because it's very good at negating things like um, like Nib, uh, like Nibiru, um, and also like if you've got a hard call on a card that a card's effects that you'd want to negate that you think maybe a hand trap that they'd have. It's a little touch and go at times, and it's not really, it's not really like something that you can necessarily rely on. But it's really useful. And also, look at this art. I think that it's really really cool. I'm pretty sure that that's, um, I'm pretty sure that's Exo Sister Asophiel, like one of my XZ monsters on the front here. So that's a pretty good pull. I like that. Um, I'll put all the Exo Sister cards together um, when we're done here. What is that? Uh, Rise Spell, Rise Bell, the Star Adjuster. Um, and then we've got Draco back, the, man, the shiny text is really hard to read, the Rideable Dragon, and then Insector Exostag, and then Solemn Strike, and then this is my, this is my super rare Breath of Resurrection. Um, super, is it super rare? Is it collector's rare? No, it's not a collector's rare. It's not an ultra rare because the text would be gold. Man, I really need Vince here. Holy crap. All right, so next up, we've got Emergency Teleport. Castle, the, hmm. Man, the Sky Blaster Musketeer. Whoa, this guy's super cool. XZ Monster, Winged Beast. Um, who, who is this guy? Somebody put in the comments who this guy is. This guy looks sick as hell. Um, and then we've got Draco back, the uh, Rideable Dragon, right? Um, and then Forest of Lost Flowers. Oh, a punk card. Uh, Gagaku Punk, Crash Beat. Punk cards are cool. Look at that. And then, oh, Cas Patel! Yay! I pulled Exo Sister Cas Patel. So Cas Patel is really good because Cas uh, Patel is a search card. Um, cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster special summon from the graveyard. Did I mention that Exo Sisters is a graveyard hate deck? It makes a lot of sense. They're nuns, or uh, they're battle nuns rather. Um, you can only use each of the following effects. Blah blah blah. Um, uh, if this card is X Y Z summoned using an Exo Sister monster's material, neither player can special summon monsters from the graveyards. For the rest of this turn, you can detach one material from this card, add one Exosister monster from your deck to your hand. A very good extender, very useful, um, so that's very nice to have. I'm very happy with that. So, Exosister Cast Patel there, and then- <gasps> Wait, is this our- Is this our- our super rare? Exosister Gabrine? Yeah, wait, no, this is- Holy crap, wait, that's so sick! We got Exosister Cast Patel directly into Exosister Gabrine, um, who is also really good because on the turn that she is XZ summoned, uh, it gives you a quick effect negate. So, all of my deck, when I play Exosisters, is all about, um, 
Interruption. All about interrupt, if you rely on your graveyard and I have cards set up, you're gonna have not the greatest time as long as I play well. Um, but Exorcist of Cabrine is my super rare there, though not worth a lot, but that's not really what matters because come on, she's so cool! So we got both Caspatel and Gabrine, that's great, man. I, I told you guys, I was feeling pretty lucky, and I, I guess I was right. We've got the Insector Sword, Ukiyo Punk, Rising Carp, is that what that says? Yes, Rising Carp. Apparently this card is also really good. I'm pretty sure. I played against a couple Punk decks, um, at least in the Master Duel meta. meta. So, Psychic Tracker. Ooh, who are you? Uh, this is an Ultra Rare, isn't it? That showed up out of nowhere? Because I'm pretty sure I haven't reached the end of the... I haven't gotten to the back yet. Yeah, Ukiyo Punk, Amazing Dragon. The text is gold and the art is foil. I'm pretty sure this is an Ultra Rare. Look at this. I think I just pulled... Uh, this is going to be two in one pack. That's cool. Amazing Dragon. Zeralom, the Dark Palace. Uh, Armory Call. And Exosister Irene. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Was that my card? Did I just put them in the wrong order? I think I did. But also, Exosister Irene is one of the cards that I need. Now, unfortunately, she is not... She is the worst Exosister to have in hand. I'll tell you that much. She's not... She's not great, but, you know, we have an Exosister, and that's nice. So, we start with Virtual World Hime Nyan Nyan. <laughs> that's a thing that I said. Um, we've got the Sky Blaster Musketeer again, Insector Exa Beetle. Cool, XZ Monsters, another Irene, very useful. I don't know if Stella and uh, Ellis are in this pack, or in this booster box, but I'd like to have them, please. Um, another Punk card, this one's a Spell card. Oh no, it's Gagaku, I've had this one before. Silly me. Um, Solemn Strike? I believe that that says, and then Exo, I literally just said it, Exo Sister Ellis. A very good card. Uh, first off, it's my super rare, which is great. Uh, but secondly, Exo Sister Ellis is good because um, if as long as you control an Exo Sister monster, you can special summon her from your hand, and that's super great. And look at her, she's ready to, she's ready to give you a hug, or like kill you. Could be either. Actually, cannot tell with her facial expression what she's thinking. Or insect imitation. Ooh, Exo Sister packs. And I think, shoot, did I put the cards in the wrong order again? This is an ultra rare, I'm pretty sure. Ultra rare Exosister packs. Um, it is not the collector's rare. Yeah. I actually don't even know if I can get the collector's rare. Okay, now that I'm looking at the card, I really can't tell. This is a first edition box. Yeah, it says first edition on the bottom of the cards as well. I can't tell if this is the collector's rare or if there is an ultra rare. You guys tell me. First off, is the text gold? I'm pretty sure it is. The, the, the art is foil. I might have messed up putting the card at the back again. Regardless, Pax, fantastic spell. Really good to have in hand. Make, like, really helps you out, keeping sure that you're not bricked or anything like that. Uh, and you can actually keep getting cards out of your deck. But I can't tell if this is the collector's rare. Because it's the collector's rare, that's $27. I really don't know, so tell me in the comments, please. Starlet Papillon, and my, oh, is that it? Yeah, that is it. Um, ooh, I haven't seen this punk card, though. It's my super Gagaku Punk Wagon. Cool. Hidden Armory, lots of spell cards. Another Arment, cool. Um, Ukiyo Punk, and, oh! Oh, oh, this is my super rare, Exosister Stella! I'm getting all the Exosisters, I'm so happy! Holy crap! I mean, these are my gals, guys. Like, they, they, they've carried me through at, all the way up until Diamond Rank, at least, again, in Master Duel. But come on, I am dueling, so leave me alone. I'm new to this and I'm enjoying myself, shut up. Um, but Exosister uh, Stella's really good because she lets you um, special summon another Exosister monster from your hand as long as she's on the field. I'm pretty sure. Yes, you can special summon one Exosister monster from your hand. Oh, and then if you control Exosister Ellis, you gain 800 life points. They they come in pairs because they are battle sisters. That's also the other thing, but that's also my super rare, shiny Exosister Stella, yay! And another Breath of Resurrection uh, super rare, cool. No Punk, Foxy Tune. Oh, this is another really rare card, but I'm pretty sure, so I, I did it, I took a quick break to look things up. No Punk, Foxy Tune, good card. Um, it, it's not a collector's rare if it's not like foil around the edges as well. So I'm pretty sure I actually haven't picked up any collector's rares just yet, um, if I'll get lucky enough to do so. But this is still a good uh, uh, punk card 
And it is also my ultra rare, I think, because of the gold text. So sick. Got another Insector Hopper and... Oh, nice. Another uh, super rare Exosister Ellis. Nice. Ties of the Brethren. Um, Virtual World Hime. Psychic Will Letter. Uh, oh, Rise Bell. Another Cast Patel. I'm still looking for Mikhailis, man. Even just a regular Mikhailis, please. That would really make my day because I've got so many Exosister cards. Another Armand and a... Oh, a super rare Stella. Cool, man, I'm getting a lot of these and that's very, very good. They're very fun. All right, this is my last pack. Let's uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I still have no Mikhailis and no Collector's Rares. I mean, what did we really expect? Um, but I'll still have to see if my luck, if my luck really yielded anything. Let's find out. So we've got Yukio Punk, Rising Carp, Carpe Divum, nice. Insect Imitation, Dragoback, The Rideable Dragon. Gagaku Punk. Zalam the Dark Palace, and I think this is our last card of the pulls for one all one, 168 cards. Oh. Oh, okay. I was wondering if it was Mikhailis. It is not. It's cool to get another XZ monster, though, and, an, and a super rare at that. Exosister Asofio. Great card. I like her. She's got some pretty good uses. Um, I'm glad that I got another XZ monster of the set, because now that means we have Caspatel, Gabrine, and Asofiel. We are just missing Mikhailis. Yeah, we're just missing Mikhailis, and that's it. Um, if this card is XZ summoned using an Exoscissor monster as material, neither player can activate card effects in the graveyard this turn. You can detach one material from this card, then target one monster your opponent controls and return it to the hand. Um, I am pretty happy with today's pulls. No super, like, rare valuable cards, but I got a lot of Exosisters, and that's all that matters to me. All right, guys, so that's all that we pulled for today. 168 cards, 7 cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Um, this was partially the, um, the Exosister pull, uh, that I got from today's box. These are all the commons. These are all just the normal, the normal cards. And then, uh, all 24, I don't think, I got some ultra rares, and I got some super rares. No collector's rares or anything like that, um, but it's all these cards, and then in the front here, so I got a lot of no punk cards, or rather, I got a lot of punk cards, but then in the front here, it's all my super rare Exosister cards, which I'm very happy for. Now, I'm gonna put them all together, give me one second. So, there we go. All of the Exosister cards that I pulled today, very fun. I'm pretty happy, actually, because this is a big part of an Exosister deck, a physical Exosister deck. I'm very happy with the pulls. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time that I have for today. And I mean, that's all the cards that I have for today. So that's all that we're going to be doing. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did. Let me know if you want me to pull in other packs or if you think I should pull for this box again. If I should go look for Magnifica and Martha in a different booster box, just let me know what you think. I will see you guys in the next video. So for now, have a good rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye.